Good day, friends. It is me, HL My Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad TV episode. So let's get cracking. Friends, we are starting on my website, hlmodtech.com. It has a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach out to me almost instantly. Now, I want to highlight it today because that's how this user reached out to me. Now, friends, these are always designed to entertain and inspire. So let's get on to today's creation. Friends, this super fun design was created by Taven. It is an awesome dog pencil holder. Now, as I mentioned a moment ago, this was super cool for me because Taven reached out via the website. We bounced a couple messages and he learned how to actually share his project with me so that I could share it with you. Now, as we're working through this design, I'll show you a couple things. First, if we hit multicolor, boom, check out the different colors on this cool little critter. You can see we've got the cool ears made with paraboloids. There's a paraboloid inside that's smaller to make the inside of the ears. The eyes have a nice texture and the whiskers are made with scribble. You can also see that scribble is used for the tail. Now, I do not want to wreck anything that Taven has created, so I'm going to do Control D and I'm going to pull it apart so there's a second one. And let me show you how the hole was cut out. So if we select this and do ungroup and ungroup and ungroup, we can slide in here. We can actually see there is an egg hole. If we do hide, we bring it back and make this transparent. Remember, T is for transparent. You can see that that egg is going to cut all the way through there, which is a really wicked solution. I'm going to do undo to get it back, and I'm going to share a couple steps for if Taven wanted to 3D print this. Just cool things that will make it a little more likely to work. I'm going to double click this, and I want to take that hole, and I'm going to raise it up. So I'm doing control up arrow, so it's a little higher because remember there was something showing through on the bottom. Now friends, if we look inside here, these ears are gonna be a problem. So let's change it like this. I'm gonna ungroup what we just did. And I'm gonna take two of these ear pieces. So I'm doing shift select to get the two of them and then shift select to get the other two. And I'm gonna do control up to raise them up so they're a little higher. And now I'm just gonna grab these two, double check it says two shapes. And I'm gonna put them at an angle that's gonna let them attach but then also cut out with this shape right here grab these two as well it says two shapes let's rotate it a few degrees so they're going to attach all right friends let's grab all of the top i also want to grab these bottom feet so we can trim that out so there's shift select let's orbit and shift select 10 shapes group and let's look inside there and then after a moment, it group, and boom, now you've got a better place for your pencils. Friends, the next thing I wanted to share for 3D printing is you really want this bottom to be flat. Here's how I would fix it. Bring it across, pick your height. I'm going to say three millimeters. And what this is going to do is it's going to cut all that off. Now, friends, all I want to do is select the dog and this. So notice there's two shapes. When I hit group, boom, we've got a flat bottom. I'm going to do D for drop tail still stays where it was supposed to be and you have got a sweet project for 3d printing friends i want to say thanks again to taven for sharing this is such a fun project and i love seeing when users are getting started building with tinkercad friends if you ever create something awesome like this cute little detroit lions jeep i created and you want to share it with me it is so simple Click this button, generate a link, copy that link, and then you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, Gmail, and TikTok. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. If those options are not available to you, don't forget, you can also visit hlmodtech.com. It is my website with a page dedicated to Tinkercad, tons of amazing lessons, and then down at the bottom, the sweet built-in messaging tool. Friends, you can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion and reach me almost instantly. I do also want to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. Friends, as you can see, we've got more than 400 members and it is a fantastic place to talk anything Tinkercad. Friends, it is time to wrap up this episode of Tinkercad TV. Once again, I hope that you found it was inspiring and entertaining. And I also want to say thank you to Taven for sharing your cool dog pencil holder. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching.
everything.